a car, a house, and enough money to spend. That's what most Singaporeans want when asked about their perfect life. However, most of them agree that their dream may not be attainable due to rising population figures and increased competition from foreigners. According to Dr. Gillian Ko, senior research fellow at the Institute of Policy Studies, resource competition and congestion increases the discomfort and anxiety Singaporeans have towards foreigners. I want to recognise that even on these issues, transportation, the government has said that it will uh, expand the MRT system, the bus system, um, on housing. Uh, we now have uh, more flats being built, 25,000 BTO last year, 25,000 BTO this year. Income ceilings have been raised, accessibility is there. Healthcare subsidies now on more things and higher level and also reduced for the PR. So my question is, even with these efforts, does it reduce the anxiety level? Coping with the influx of foreigners goes beyond having sufficient infrastructure or changing policies. Professor David Chan, Deputy Provost and Director of the Behavioural Sciences Institute, feels that the feelings and concerns of Singaporeans have been neglected by policy makers when communicating their message. I have always tried to say that to ministers and permsecs, we always use a statement to the members of public, which I think we need to change. We always say, please understand that you need to trade off and balance your short-term needs between your short-term needs and your long-term interests. I think that's a very tricky thing to do. While it is true that there are trade-offs, it does presuppose you know exactly what the needs are and what the long-term interests are. It unintentionally gives the impression that you are omnipotent, you know everything and you know what the long-term interests are, that there's only one model and you won't make it wrong. A better way to frame it is that while there are trade-offs in policies, as we navigate together, you need to understand the short-term concerns and the longer-term issues and the relationships between them. Because if you mess up your short-term, there's no long-term to talk about. For more on our population changes and how it affects Singaporeans, watch our other clips. 